Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and Stuart Emerson sent us this this puzzle with its brilliant picture of a of a um, well he's called it Killer Cat which is fantastic and uh, there's no way I'm not doing a puzzle that looks like that brilliant stuff um, looking forward to that now I do want to congratulate um, a few more solvers of Tracking the Triptych well done to Tyler Hinman, Bryce Olshansky and Hamlin. Um, John Weeks, you might want to check the uh, solution you sent. The top row of the grid is unlikely to have two sixes, I would say. Anyway, unlucky apart from, I think it was a typo to be fair to John. Now, well done to those guys. Tracking the triptych, just one of many, many things we have going on on Patreon at the moment. Very well worth a look there. Extra content, extra videos. Um, by the first content, I meant puzzles. Um, and also crossword stuff as well. Lots going on, lots to come. There is the new puzzle hunt coming out on the 1st of March. That'll be the March reward for patrons and many thanks to those who have done that or indeed who have subscribed to the channel here please do it if you haven't um it's well worth it now one of the people who has has is Stuart Emerson who sent this picture and he says he and his loved ones have really enjoyed working through our Sudokus during the latest lockdown that they've been enduring and uh together with his loved ones he's put together this puzzle which has a few rules let's let's just go over those First of all, normal Sudoku rules, of course, apply. Then we have some thermos, which increase from the bulb to the end. I guess on this one, they increase from the bulb to each of the six ends, from the nose of the cat onwards, uh, along all its whiskers, which is brilliant. Um, there are some a few given digits, which are nines. There are three cages, which are nines, or I should say there are three visible cages, which add up to nine. But there are also three invisible cages in box two up here. Three, in, three invisible two cell cages that add up to nine in that box. Um, and that is what we have. So intriguing rule set. Uh, let's see, do give it a go on the link under the video, um, especially if you've ever done a thermo before, or even if you haven't, give it a try. I think it's gonna be interesting. And I'm going to start now, so let's get cracking. And of course, I'm going to start with the invisible thermos. No, I'm only joking. I'm, uh, I'm obviously not going to look at the invisible cages, not only because I can't, but because they're unlikely to be very helpful. Now, what we do have, however, is a longish thermo. Well, no, not a longish thermo on its own, but... A lot, of, a lot of cells covered by thermos in this row. So the one in this row must be on a bulb. This is something we know about thermos. If there's a one on a thermo, it must be on a bulb. If there's a nine, it must be on the end. And there must be a one in this row. So it's either there or there. Um, now, if it was here, this would have to be a two. So it's got to be a one or a two either way. Um, now, what do we know about how the cells on the ends of the thermos grow? So two, three, theoretically, one of these ends could be a four, but in practice, they can't both be when they're either in the same row or the same column. Ah, oh, we've got a nine cage here. So this can't be more than six. And indeed, yeah, this has to be at least three because it's the third cell of a thermo. So one, two, this has to be at least four, but it can't now be more than five because we can't get a six, two, one cage out of this. We could get five, three, one, well, five, one, three, or four, two, three. I think those are the only ways we could possibly do this. This can't be a four. That would make that a five. We'd definitely be over the number. So that's a three. We can put in one and two. That two gives us a one, and that makes this a five. Now, this has to be less than a five. One, two, three have gone in the box. That's a four, three or two there. Okay, that's a nice start, actually. Um, 
It's a very useful nine cage there. Everything else in the box is six, seven, or eight, but this must be lower than this. So we can narrow those possibilities down a little. Now, what about over here? Is this useful? I suppose these numbers on the end of this thermo have to come between four and eight because all the other numbers in the row have gone. So this one is not one and less than six. This now has to be one, two or three. Actually, that may not, you know, I found a decent place to start, but then I think I've gone less useful. Let's pop up to one of the years because five, one and three have gone in column eight. So two or four there, I think nothing, nothing else will do four or six there still even then we can get up to a possible seven, um, then seven or eight, eight or nine. I don't think there are any other possibilities. Let me just have another think about that. Yeah, that's got to be right. The nine in this row has to be in one of these cells. The eight must be somewhere here. I was hoping to pair it up with the nine, but actually it could go there. So let's take that carefully. Um, Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it was nice to get these down to two possibilities each, but doesn't actually get anything more done. Where does nine go in this box? Though? Ah, must go here. Thanks to the given nines and all of those uh, thermo possibilities. Um, now I must try and not forget about the invisible cages. Ah, that nine has actually sorted this all out. Eight, seven, six, four, two. Yes. Okay. So this is now a seven, eight, nine triple. Uh, that can't be nine. It must go, must go with a one or a two, but two has gone. So we can put in a one, remove those down to seven and nine outside that. This can't be seven anymore. Um, Okay, that dries up a bit at that point. I'm not sure that we can... Oh yeah, we can restrict this thermo quite heavily at the end, which can't be eight or nine anymore. So that comes down to seven, six or five. I think we're going to lose some of those possibilities on the way down. Uh, yes, that can't be four. This, what I wrote in there was nonsense. Five, four or three three or two. In fact, that now has to be a one as it can't be a two. So the bulb on this other cat's ear is a one. Um, yeah, that can't be five anymore because that was restricted. for six. This is three or five. That's just eliminating the other candidates by Sudoku. Um, one, two, three, nine, this can be four, five, four, five, six or seven. Can't be eight because this has to be higher and can't be nine. Okay. Where else are we looking for information here? Um, not sure actually. Let's try this doesn't look very useful as a thermo. Um, these cat's eyes have to be bigger than one, but that's not really, that's not telling me anything. Okay. Sorry. I'm just trying to look at what, where the best place is to keep proceeding here. This is bigger than two, less than less than nine. Three, five, six, not seven actually, because we have a seven, nine pair in the box. No, that wasn't as interesting as I was hoping either. Right, let's have a look at column two. Where does a one go? Yeah, that is a good question. Where does a one go? Not there. Not there where there's a one in the row, not here on the end of a thermo, here in the middle of a thermo or here where there's a one. So one goes there. 
ah, that means this must actually, ever since we got a one knocking a one out of there, that one has been easy and I haven't been noticing it. Um, now we've got to fit quite a few digits in to this box, to this row. I mean, if that was nine, no, I'm not sure. Oh, this can't be nine because of the thermo. So the nine in this row must be on one end or another. Um, I can't really pencil mark that without confusing myself completely. So maybe I won't try and do that yet. Um, nine in this box must be in one of these two cells. They're the only ones, uh, not that one, sorry, that would allow it in box four. Oh, maybe I'm going to have to use the information about the three hidden thermo. The, sorry, I don't know why I keep calling that. Three hidden cages up here. Now, they don't contain one and eight. That's interesting. So they must be a seven, two, a three, six, and a four, five. How can I use that? I don't think I can use that yet. It's got to be later. Hmm, getting a bit bogged down here. Ah, oh, right. Right, where does one go in this box? I should have asked that earlier because these ones are confining it to the top row and it can't be anywhere except in the beginning of a thermo, on a bulb. So that gets us all the ones placed. Okay. So we've got three, five and eight to go in box three. Um, Still two and seven to place here. Ah, and that information about the three hidden cages means two and seven have to be next to each other. So that must be one of them. The other one is up there somewhere as well. I don't know how to pencil mark that. I'm just gonna stick two seven up there. Um, now where's four going to go in the box? Either in the remaining one of those cells or there. And wherever it is, it has to be next to a five. And the shape of this means that the five has to be in this row. Oh, that's fascinating. That takes five out of this cell, makes it six. The thermo ends in a seven. Six can't be here anymore. This can't be five. So the five's gonna be next to a four, which could be in any of those cells. Two is gonna be next to seven in the top. Where are three and six gonna go? Oh, where is six gonna go? clearly here that's got to be next to three so one end of this five is next to four so okay so those are from two four and seven these are five and nine as a pair i've forgotten nine has to still get in the box somewhere right but that three has changed this to a two i should have spotted that earlier this now can't be a four but it can still be three or five because I don't know quite how they play out down, sorry, down here where we have three, four and five to go in the row. This must be where eight is for various reasons. Now, this can't be as high as eight. Um, so even I still don't want to put seven, six, five, four, three on that thermo on that cell as the candidates. Um, three, six, nine, one, four, five. This is two, seven or eight. However, I know it's not eight because both of those would have to be nine and they're in the same row. So that's not possible. If it was seven, this would be an eight, nine pair, making this six. Four, five would have to be there. Ah, it is possible for this to be seven with two and three there. Then this would end six, nine. Yep, that, that all works. Very surprising. I thought I was gonna be able to rule out seven and fill in a two. Oh, I've got a two, seven pair in the column. Ah, so seven comes out of those as a possibility. Um, in fact, six comes out of those ever since I got that six. So four, five and eight to complete the central column. Now, does seven still work here? Eight, nine, five, four, six, 
2 and 3. Yes, it does. No bother at all. That's quite amusing. Um, 7, 8, 9, 1. Right, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to place. For some reason, 4 candidates seems acceptable to me. Ah, the 2 in the column has to be in one of those two cells. Yeah, I'm certainly not done yet. This is a nice puzzle. It's uh, not only looks good, it's keeping up the challenge. 1, 5, 4... Sorry, I'm probably missing something pretty clear here. Um, but I can't see it now. Let's keep focusing. 2 there. 1, 2, 4, 5. I mean, that's fine. There's no problem with that at all. So, can't really do much more about those hidden cages. I think I've largely dealt with them. 9, 8, 1, 2, 3. This is from 4, 5, 6 or 7. Right, the only place for 8 in the bottom row I've just discovered is here. And that really is relevant. That gives us the 5, 4 there, makes this an 8. Um, 8 is now in one of these two cells. Oh, because that can still be a 9, that doesn't actually place it for me. 8, 5, 4, 1, what about... Ah, oh, this can't be 7 anymore. That's finally got to that conclusion that I've been... In, expecting a long time ago. Um, four will go with five, remember, in one of these pairs, because I haven't quite finished off those hidden cages. Uh, two, five, eight, four, one. Right, we've got three, six, seven, and nine to place down here, and no idea how they're going to work. The whiskers thermo is satisfied, whatever happens there. Two, four, five, one. Um, this has to be 3, 6 or 7. This has to be 8 or 9 because it can see 6 and 7. Ah, this has to be 8 or 9 because we know that 8 is on one of these two cells. So if it's there, this is 8. If it's there, this is 9. So it's 8 or 9, which makes a little pair. 6, 7, 1. We've got 2, 3, 4 and 5 still to place. That's not actually resolving this one uh, at all, this cage here. Right, have we got something I can use? No, not really, down here at all. Three, six or seven, so this has to be no more than six. And I said I wouldn't do a five candidate cell, and I've done one, and I'm going to do another now. Actually, that could even go up to eight. This is Stupid six candidate cell. Now, stupid is probably me because I'm just not seeing how to make further progress here. Um, ah, this is a sextuple of two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is eight or nine here as well as there. Um, Nine here would force eight there. That doesn't get anything done. Nine, eight, one. Oh, it's intriguing. I'm sure I'm missing something straightforward. Oh, come on. Four, two, one, six. Right, that can't be seven, nine, one, eight, four, or two. Three, five, or six. No. Six, seven, one, eight, nine pair. Then we have two, three, four, and five. But this is still so open. Right. Where does seven go in the central box? That's a useful question. It must be at the end of a thermo. Oh, I could have asked that question ages ago as well. Right, that fixes this as a 9. That fixes the 9 in box 4 to be here. That puts 8 there. That puts 9 here. 9 is not on the thermo. Ah, oh, that 8 is looking across at this. 7 down the thermo to a 6. 6 can come out of there. So these now can't be 3 or 7. 
That makes this a three. Ah, oh, that makes this a two, and this a three, and now, now we are finally flying a bit. Um, still don't know much about that one. The one that is embarrassingly marked with every possible candidate. Um, two, four peg makes that a five. Then we have a six, seven pair at the bottom here. Right, now. Seven had to be at the top. Four has to be at the bottom of these little thermos now. So it's in one of those positions and these can't have a four. Therefore, these can't have a five. Ah, that five actually has resolved the top of the column. Three there. Just going to sort those pencil marks out. Actually, that means three down here as well. That's now five. That's eight. Yeah, I'm sure I've been missing stuff all over this puzzle. Um, three, one, six, nine, eight, seven, five there. A two there and a four there. And I'm going to make this cat look happy in the end. And five there, eight, five, nine, eight, one. That five has fixed the four, five pair. That's a four. Three, nine, two. That is six or seven, which forms a pair down here. That means this is Oh, it means this is two, two. What number am I missing? A three, there we go. Two, seven pair there. Four and six still to go on the eyes of the putty tat. Seven and five up there, which makes this a six. Seven and six and four. And now this probably gets resolved by Remembering that one of these is a four five pair and the other is a two seven pair. Yes, we get sorry a two nine pair presumably four there five must be linked with the four so the three um, Hidden cages are there Five sorts out that and now we are just finishing off What a lovely puzzle and what a charming idea as well brilliantly realized by Stuart and his family that is fantastic and very well done to them really nice puzzle has taken me considerably longer than I expected and it's very good now there is a note actually the note says see the thermo totals after completing the puzzle so I can see that this thermo adds up to nine. I mean, nine was obviously the theme of the puzzle. And for some reason, cats are associated with nine. Um, cats having nine lives, the cat of nine tails. Um, yeah, and so that one added up to nine. This one clearly is nine. Let's have a look at some of the others. Six, 12, 19, it's got a nine in. One, three, eight, 14. 22, maybe not there. There's another, yet another nine. This one is 18, which is twice nine. This one is 27, which is three times nine. Uh, six, 12, another 19 down here, which has a nine in it. My goodness, there is a lot there. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna add this one up. Oh, okay, 36, 45, 48, 56, 58, 68. Okay, that one not particularly. Although you could probably trace one path along it to get a multiple of nine, I'm sure. But certainly quite a few of those thermos are either featuring nine or multiples of nine. And uh, surely this cat could look a bit happier now, now that he's been solved. But there we go. Fantastic puzzle from Stuart Emerson. Really good debut and absolutely thrilled to feature that. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.